Welcome mates, I am Bloodthirsty Lord, but you can call me Lordy and today we're back on Prey to Hunt Grounds with a very interesting premiere. As you can know, you can chat in this video as it's live and we'll be redirected to our live stream as well. Should be very, very crazy. We get to highlight a character from this point of view in our first look video and also more depth in the live stream as we just test a whole bunch of things with a character and have some fun in some of our live matches as the best predator player out there. This is going to be quite crazy. Either way, this should be quite fun. Before we do get into this video, there's only a small percentage of mates to watch the video that are actually subscribed. Leave a like, show your support, click the subscribe button to keep up to date. Press that join button to become a member of the channel. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So the reason why this is all possible now is because the class is actually able to be active in game. Yes, I know Elphonic did drop another patch to fix this issue of the launch, not having this character playable on PC on the Steam client and Epic Games client. I don't know why that was a thing, but they fixed it and looks like we can play the character now. Cleopatra is the Praetor. Her appearance is quite astonishing. I think it's quite crazy the way it looks, the actual textures and the skin color. I love this skin. And this is the base appearance, obviously with future customizations on this class. We're gonna go crazier with the customization, but it looks so cool. And you can notice the reskin smart disc, is just moving around continuously on like 30 frames. <laughs> or even 15, I don't know, because the lag that's happening between it, but it looks so cool. Crazy stuff there, crazy stuff. So that's the customization behind the character. You got the headpiece over there and also the armor. There isn't a special skin made for this character, so that's something to keep in mind, but that is pretty much what the DLC entails. This character, alongside this specialization, you have Enrage, Stalker, and Tactician. And since it's the only class ever to be like quite tanky and also have Stalker, I thought that would be a great idea to utilize that perk on this character in the Cleopatra DLC for the Predator. Alongside that, we have the reskin Smartest as a primary weapon, which I believe has some unique melee animations. We'll find out as we go. And the Alpha Sickle as well, because I find that to be kind of fitting. And we have to give that gold color scheme as well to match that. So that was perfect there too. Then Healing Kit, Bear Traps, Motion Detector, Utility, Perhaps Trap Setups and Heals. Beneficial for any type of Predator gameplay. And alongside that, Downrange to work with our Stalker Specialization and our Smartest and our Plasma Caster. That is beautiful and alongside high advantage to play from the trees and modified reserves to gain the energy back every time that we do use our plasma caster or go into the cloak. Crazy build. This should be quite fun. Let's highlight our first look on the Cleopatra Predator in game. Let's get into it. So jumping on the map, excavation with the Cleopatra Predator and that looks quite stunning. Is my settings too high? Maybe that's the reason why. <laughs> The raw is kind of the same, nothing changed there. I thought they maybe changed it up. No, it looks exactly the same as like a Berserker. It fits the same character model as a female Berserker. But the way it looks, quite stunning in game, quite stunning. I need to double check my settings quickly, just to make sure I'm on the right settings. And it looks like we're a bit too high up there. We're playing too gracious there with those settings. We've got to drop that down. <laughs> so the game doesn't stutter as much. But this should be quite fun. Let's use our target isolation, hopefully find some enemies. We do find a stray on the right hand side. And with this smartest build and the way with Stalker Specialization does work, we're going to make sure to use the benefits of everything. The sensitivity is hella fast because the smartest needs to be kind of ready for that. They're over here. I can hear them. Okay, let's use this smart to see if there's any special animations. Not sure. Oh, there is! This may be the worst smart disc to actually go for melee damage. Because it's still based on the melee stats that's currently on the other smart disc. It doesn't really do much, does it? Okay, let's send this through. We're playing on 120 ping. I think we got it though. Let's send this back. We did something. I'm not sure what we did exactly. Okay, let's start moving. We kind of drop in this tree because, you know, it's not a tree that you can actually climb. I don't know why that's actually there. Okay, let's get out of this one. Let's find some piggies. We need piggies already. I thought possibly, possibly we can play from that distance. Got a hit there. I want to jump out. There should be piggies here, hopefully. Tidal isolation. Try to find some piggies towards the left-hand side of the map. We'll try and rush this. The bar usage on this character is kind of hard. Due to the fact that the stamina bar is so low, her stats, we've kind of highlighted in a previous video, we kind of covered it. 
but it's quite hard. The character isn't that strong. We another piggy down there. Where to go? It disappeared. Never mind. It's gone forever now. We got shot by a guy right there. There's you have this. Oh my god, this animation is the worst by far. By far the worst animation for melee attacks. I'm watching, I'm watching. He saw me. Bounce out of this. Bounce out of it. <laughs> Oh, HP, even with full HP, is getting ripped apart. Like, completely. Got a hit there? The way it sounds is different, though. I'll give it that. It sounds quite different. It sounds quite different. I'm gonna jump away before we end up losing our stuff here. Tight isolation again. Double check piggies towards the left hand side again. Which is kind of easy to tell where I'm going now. So I don't know if we actually go for this, but we'll find out. There's piggy down there too. Did it despawn? No, it did. Yeah, let's get a HP back. Very nice, very nice. I heard another piggy close by. Where though? I'm not too sure. The reason why I'm using piggies now because we don't have large pouch on. Which I could maybe sacrifice for that. Did someone just shoot me from behind? They're still doing this mission here. Got it. Nice. Let's get the kill. Perfect. Easy kill. Easy claim for the Cleopatra. Predator. You gotta love it. Angel Overload here. I'm just gonna run away. Run away. Send this through. Possibly get, hopefully some cheese. Not enough. Not enough. That's a cool. So cool. Where did my smart disc go? Oh my god. It's still traveling. Because the way the animations work. Okay, we gotta move. We gotta move. Straight up here. The lag makes this kind of hard to actually land this continuously. But we're gonna try our best. Listen, this back up. Pick it up. Thank you. Send this through again. He knows where the cast position was. Well played, well played. Well played. Whoa! What's going on? Man, this update, I don't know. A couple of unknown features were added in. Like laggy leaps or such. I don't know what's going on. The reason why we're not running is so we don't lose our bar usage here. As much. Wait, P. I just heard it. I literally just heard it. You can't tell me I just heard Oh my god, yes. Perfect positioning for P to spawn. Lord is going for the pig. Feast on that. Get my HP back. I wonder if they push from that distance. There's no way they can hear it. No way. We need to be more aggressive now and get some more kills going in our favor. I want to use the smartest as much as possible, but sometimes using something like this is way better. We use the smartest once again though. I'm just gonna try it once again because I know he's healing. There we go, we got it. Nice animations. Easy kill. <laughs> he's talking in game two, I love it. Respect the man, respect it. Okay, now let's find the other people respawning, which is right here, actually. Alright, very interesting. I don't know, understand how this is so laggy. Look at the animations, it's so awkward. Like, I've never seen such awkward animations for Smartisk. Does not feel like it's even fluid. They're gonna start running up, so I'm gonna try and get this kill here, hopefully. Cheeky kill, if possible. Oh my god, it's so hard. It's actually quite hard. Due to the fact that things are not doing what they're supposed to. The piggies are running over here. No, come back, come back. Oh no, mates. Cleopatra needs his piggy. I can't get it. I'm gonna die, aren't I? I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. 
No! <laughs> he literally chased for it. Oh, no. That's unfortunate. That is completely unfortunate. Jeez. This should be easy to respawn, though, on our second wind. The roar might actually sound a bit different. I'm not too sure. Maybe just the female predator roars being added to this. Obviously, because it's based on Cleopatra being a female predator. So I think that's the idea they went for there. But losing our second wind is not a good thing for us. Especially when there's a chance for them to escape as well. I think I had too much fun on the smart disc. And even with my lag, it should not be in a priority to actually utilize it. <laughs> but I try my best to make it work. Where are they? They're up there? Nice. I'm gonna pop my meds here. I think that's got cool. That's in game too. The meds are not popping off. Okay, they're about to go for the escape. I can feel it. There's no way they're not gonna go for this escape. So we need to make sure back on full HP, even with no second wind. If we use our stalker perk to our advantage, we can maybe get the kills that are necessary to actually gain. Maybe they're going to extract down there. I'm not too sure. We gotta find out. Extract's down there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There's one guy alone on the left. So at least know that. Okay, this has been quite hard. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Was that a play there? I can't even tell. Honestly, at this point, I'm just going to push the actual objective and make sure we stop that from actually happening. Wait, what? What hit me? Down. Got it. That's one. Get over here. What am I at? Oh. Got that. Perfect. Go here. Get this guy the sickle. Nice. Gone. Now we stop the actual respawn here. Get this. Bear traps. As many as possible. Easy kills. And now we go for it. Easy. They're not leaving. Clue Pratchett wins this. Cleopatra wins this. There we go. You're gone. See you later. Mate, that's how we do it. That is how we do it. Cleopatra Predator goes ham towards the end. She looks quite stunning. I actually like the way the customization looks on the default Predator for this class. Obviously, we're covered with blood right now, so that's not the best look. But, you know how it is. You know how it is. <laughs> the smartest is quite hard to actually utilize with 140 ping. And that melee animation, I don't know. It's different, yes. I don't know if it's that great, though, when it comes to damage output. But that was the Cleopatra Predator in a 4-minute queue that went down to around 15-20 minutes. So thank God for that. That was such a fun time in our first look. Let's highlight some of the aspects of what we think about this Predator. So let's go back to our actual main screen and highlight that. So the stats, maybe not the best in this class. Honestly, maybe one of the weakest Predators out there when it comes to the stats. But the ability to have Stalker as specialization is quite crazy, in my opinion. So I like that aspect there because it's a health class with Stalker and that seems to be quite good in my opinion. But look at the stats, not the best in comparison to any other Predator on this actual list, especially other DLC Predators. But it's quite an interesting complexion to have of this Predator class. I like the customization. The smart is already highlighted in my opinion on it. I like the animation. I don't like the melee animation behind it because the damage is not that crazy unless they've changed the damage numbers on it. I'm not too sure, but it looks like they haven't. And playing the game on 140 ping with the smartest is a never a go-to option in my opinion. But this is a crazy class to utilize. The one that we've created for it gives you a bit of everything. And if you're playing in the trees, that helps out quite a bit. If you want to change that for second wind, maybe you drop it down, down to a four point perk and then put a large pouch here as well. You can do so. You have many opportunities to change this build in your way and your gameplay style. But that is the Cleopatra Predator and Bloodthirsty Lord's first look, aka myself. That was a reference to myself in third person. You know how it is, but that was our first look. And I kind of think it's an all right Predator DLC, nothing crazy. 
but the way it looks, the animations it has, it looks pretty decent. Nothing crazy, in my opinion. But tell me your opinions and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to know. And as always, mates, it's a pleasure to have you guys on the channel as we go through this. And I'll catch you, mates, next time. Bye. Road to 100k subscribers. Let's get it, mates.